CodeGround is an online testing platform that allows recruiters to conduct online assessments to screen candidates before the interview process. CodeGround offers a free trial in which recruiters can test 25 candidates through online proctored assessments. This demo video will demonstrate how recruiters can easily register on CodeGround, create their first test, and start testing candidates as part of their free trial. To register with CodeGround, click on the Sign Up button in the top right corner. While signing up, select the I am a recruiter option. Enter your corporate email address, your contact number, password, and verify that you are a human being. Finally, click on the register button. After your account has been created and you have logged in, this is the screen that is displayed. The help section allows recruiters to read about our platform and look at frequently asked questions. You can also click on the chat with us button on the top. This will open an on-screen chat window. You can chat with us regarding any issues with your free trial. Our support is very responsive and you can expect a quick response in a matter of minutes. The settings sections allows recruiters to provide more information about their company and their account with CodeGround. In the settings section, recruiters can enter details about the company, the logo, and update their account passwords. The credits section allows recruiters to transfer money online to purchase credits necessary to conduct online assessments. You will notice that your free trial registration provides you with a welcome bonus of 50 credits, with which 25 assessments can be conducted. The questions library is your repository of test questions. In the questions library, you will see two categories, public and private. Public questions are provided by CodeGround for free. These questions are not recruiter specific, that is, they are shared with other recruiters also. The private questions are the questions that are specific to each recruiter and these questions are not shared with others. If you would like to purchase more questions from us, please click on the highlighted button. In the private question section, recruiters can add questions that are not shared, for example, questions that are exclusive to their organization only. Three types of questions can be added, multiple choice questions, programming questions, and submission questions. Multiple choice and programming questions are auto-evaluated, while submission questions are manually evaluated. Let's try adding a multiple choice question. Click on the Add a Question button on the top right. Recruiters can provide the question statement. Our rich text editor supports image embedding inside the question body. You can also embed audio and or video clips inside the question body. This is a good way to test listening comprehension. You can specify the multiple choice options and indicate the right answer. You can also add tags of any sort to your questions. You can click on Save to save your multiple choice question. You can click on Save to save your multiple choice question. Your newly created question will appear under the list of MCQs in your private question library. Let us now look at programming questions in your private question library. Let's click on the Add a Question button to add our first programming question. You can provide the program title and program statement. You can provide a few samples that are publicly displayed to the candidates. You can also add test cases and assign weightages to each of them. Unlike the sample, test cases are not publicly displayed to the candidate. The code submitted by the candidate is executed against these test cases to check if the code runs as expected or not. It is recommended to add a lot of test cases, around 10. You should also add test cases that are time-consuming to process to verify that the program submitted by the candidate is optimized for time. Optionally, you can add your program, the right answer, to check that all the test cases pass. The code submitted in this section will be hidden from the candidate. This is to ensure the validity of your test cases. You can provide help code for each programming language. This help code will be publicly displayed to the candidates. Typically, help code is provided to help candidates read inputs and get started with their programming. You can add tags like stacks or dynamic programming, etc. to your programming question. Once you're done editing, you can save your question. Your newly created programming question shows up as expected. Let us now look at adding a submission question. To reiterate, a submission question, unlike MCQs or programming questions, needs to be manually evaluated. Let's click on the Add a Question button to add our first submission question. You can add the question statement using our rich text editor. You can include images and audio or video clips in your question statement. If you are interested in creating a debugging question, you can select the highlighted option. 
In a debugging question, you can provide code or pseudocode with bugs and ask candidates to identify and fix those bugs with minimal code changes. For this question, we are interested in capturing the candidates' voice responses for assessing spoken English skills. Hence, we have set the response requirements as an audio clip with a max time limit of 300 seconds. Other types of submission responses like images, URLs for applications built externally, files, say zip files with code submissions, text for essay writing assessments, and code are also supported. You can add the question statement using our rich text editor. You can include images and audio or video clips in your question statement. If you are interested in creating a debugging question, you can select the highlighted option. In a debugging question, you can provide code or pseudocode with bugs and ask candidates to identify and fix those bugs with minimal code changes. For this question, we are interested in capturing the candidates' voice responses for assessing spoken English skills. Hence, we have set the response requirements as an audio clip with a max time limit of 300 seconds. Other types of submission responses like images, URLs for applications built externally, files, say zip files with code submissions, text for essay writing assessments, and code are also supported. We can now save the submission question. The added, <clears throat> the added submission question shows up here as expected. You are now familiar with the process of adding questions to your private library. If needed, you can always contact us to get premium questions for your exclusive use. Let us now look at creating a test by pulling in questions from your public or private questions library. Click on the highlighted Manage Tests tab on the top left. In Manage Tests, you will be able to see two sections, Tests Hosted and Test Templates. A test template is a blueprint for a test. A test template contains questions along with test... <coughs> The added submission question shows up here as expected. You are now familiar with the process of adding questions to your private library. If needed, you can always contact us to get premium questions for your exclusive use. Let us now look at creating a test by pulling in questions from your public or private questions library. Click on the highlighted Manage Tests tab on the top left. In Manage Tests, you will see two sections, Tests Hosted and Test Templates. A test template is a blueprint for a test. A test template contains questions along with test duration and marks. You can host multiple tests from the same test template. For instance, the same test template can be used to host a test on Saturday at 1 p.m. for one campus and on Sunday at 2 p.m. for another campus. We can start by creating a test template. You can give the test template title. You can make it public, in which case any interested candidate who has the public test link can take the test, or invite only, in which case only candidates who have received an email invite can take the test. Click on the Create button to create this test template. In the Basic Details section, you can provide the description and instructions for the test. The test template can have multiple sections. By default, Section 1 has been created. You can add questions to this section by clicking on the Choose from Library button. In the pop-up window, you can filter using tags displayed on the left. You can select the questions from the filtered list, add marks, positive and negative in case of MCQs, and add those selected questions to your test. The selected questions have been added to your test template under Section 1. You can specify the settings for this section. For instance, Section 1 is window proctor and has a test duration of 15 minutes. If necessary, you can add more sections to the test template by clicking on the highlighted button. Each section can have its own set of questions, marks, test duration, and window proctoring attribution sets. Under Test Template Settings, you can specify the type of test, public or invite only, webcam monitoring requirements, and details to be collected from the candidate, like profile or resume, before the test. In the Public Page View, you can specify the details of the Public Test Link page. You can specify test instructions, job description about the company, etc. You can add an image to go into the background. You can also click on the preview button to see how the public test link will appear for candidates. This is the preview of the public test link page and how it will appear to candidates. Once you are satisfied with the preview of the public test link page, you can click go back. Once all values of the test template have been provided, you can use this test template to host a test. Click on the highlighted button to start a hosted test from this test template. 
you can specify the test opening and closing timings and the cutoff marks which determine whether a candidate has passed or failed the test. Finally, you can click the highlighted Publish Test button. The newly hosted test now appears under the Test Hosted tab. This is a public test that is open to all interested candidates. You can click on the Generate Public Link button to generate the link to be shared to candidates. Click on the Generate Public Link button in the pop-up. The public test URL has now been created for you. You can copy this URL and share it with all interested candidates. You can share this URL via email, Facebook, LinkedIn, or on your website where job openings have been posted. If a candidate opens the test link URL, the test details along with the duration, start, and ending times are shown. Candidates can subscribe for the test and give the test once it becomes active. Once any candidate has completed the test, you can see their results in the Reports view. Here you can see a test report. 19 candidates have completed this. Here you can see a test report. 19 candidates have completed this test. Their scores along with their names are listed in separate rows. You can filter based on cutoff scores for each section of the test. You can view the CV of candidates or call them up directly from your browser. A red flag is raised in case the proctoring system has detected suspicious activity during the test. You can send an email to selected candidates. You can include their results as an attachment in those emails in the interests of transparency. You can assign evaluators for rating submission questions manually. For tracking purposes, you can configure multiple tabs. These tabs serve as buckets into which you can put different candidates for tracking. Buckets like shortlisted, offered, rejected, interview scheduled, etc. can be created to track the candidates along the recruitment pipeline. We hope this demo was useful. We invite all recruiters to take advantage of our free trial and conduct online assessments for up to 25 candidates for free. And if your trial of the CodeGround online testing platform was satisfactory, please let us know and we can discuss pricing and further steps. Happy headhunting!